Hi guys, we're out here at a nearby dam and we're going to show you how to use the Flysky radio that is equipped with the Kutokopter EX1 Back to Basics Edition. It's really simple, we just have to do one or two few, few steps and we'll be up in the air dropping baits in no time. Stay tuned, let's go forward. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we turn on our remote and you will see the message is pull down the throttle and put all the switches up then the remote will boot up next thing we do take your quick switch power up the drone now what we're going to do is wait for the lights to turn green it'll first go through this process don't move the drone at that stage and now all we do is wait for the light to flash green for this basics edition, all you need to worry about is turn on the remote, turn on the drone, wait for green and fly. Now we can see the light has turned green, green is good, green for go. We can now show you how to arm the motors, we will do that using the left stick. All we do is hold it down and into the right hand corner for a few seconds, the light will turn solid green and we then push the motor to middle for idle and for takeoff obviously we're going to then push the stick all the way to the top right now we will just kill the motors and we'll now go forward to show you how the craft will fly right now we are ready to take off you will see that the flashing light as soon as we arm the motors will turn to a solid green and then we put the left stick immediately into the middle so down let's hold it to the right the light is going to turn solid green and then push this to the middle the props have now started and the drone is idling in order to launch we want to make sure that everybody is clear and we're now going to push up on the left stick and the drone will begin its hover put the left stick in the middle for the drone to stay in one place if you go below half the drone will descend if you in the middle it will hover and if you go above half it will obviously climb What's now important is to understand how the drone behaves. On the right, if we push forward, the drone will move forward, center to hover, pull back to reverse, center to hover. If we need to slide left, left and right, we will use the stick, slide right, hover and slide left. If you need to change the direction the drone is facing, we'll use the left stick, push left, you can see the drone rotates, and just push it so that the drone faces the direction you want to go in. That way when we push forward, it will go exactly where we want it to go. At this point I'm going to demonstrate how we do the save waypoints. Fly forward until you are happy with the drop zone. Let the drone hover. Now use the far right switch, switch D, click it down once and up once, that's going to save the waypoint. We can now fly back. In order for the drone to go back to the waypoint we saved, all we do is we're using switch C, we will pull switch C all the way down and now the drone is automatically flying to the drop zone that we just saved. Once we are there and we are happy to drop the bait, we will use this switch, drop the bait, push it back up. If we want to return home now, we can push RTH, pull that back. The drone will now rise to about 25 meters and then it will turn to face home and land automatically. Now at any stage we can cancel the return to home function and we'll demonstrate that to you as the drone descends. So what's important now is we can still maneuver the drone to any position while it is doing a return to launch. We can, if someone runs in the way or there's an umbrella or something, we can move the drone out of the way. And even if we need to cancel completely this landing, 
all we need to do is push up the throttle stick like this and you can see the drone now will go back up again for the purposes of this demo we'll land manually or let's actually do another return to launch what we do is we push that stick up and then back down and then let's watch the drone do a return to land in an automatic function make sure that the left stick is in the middle before pulling the switch down and the motors will shut down automatically after doing a return to launch so at this point what we want to do is take it out of return to launch put it back into standard gps flying mode and if you want to cancel that waypoint or delete it all we're going to do is we're going to swing this knob to the right swing it to the left now you've deleted the waypoints completely thanks for watching that training video please watch the other videos so that you get a good understanding of how to use your drone this was the back to basics edition using simple mode there's no application required with the fly sky radio however if you want to upgrade at any future date you can do that just contact your local dealer